patterns very common. And so where we start today is with a hexagon and we have a dimension A, that's the uh, dimension from flat to flat. We have dimension B, that's the dimension in between the hex patterns, whether you're doing in this direction or that direction. And we have the fact that the um, side of the hexagon is uh, 30 degrees or 60 degrees, uh, depending on your frame of reference. Um, so once we have, we've established A and B, we now know that the distance between this center and this center is this hypotenuse distance right here. Um, that's A plus B because you've got half of A, you've got B, you've got half of A. And so C equals A plus B times the cosine of 30. Um, and D equals A plus B times the sine of 30. Then we also know that the distance between this point right here and this point right here is D times 2. So once we know all of that, we can now create a model and we can just manipulate that model with the um, different uh, parameters that we type in. And so to show you that, let us uh, go and create one. So I would suggest if you're going to do something like this, you create some nice expressions. My first expression will be A and arbitrarily I'm going to make it um, 5. And my next expression, that's B, that's the spacing in between the, um, the hexes, is for this little example is going to be uh, 0.5. And I'm sure uh, most of you know this, but um, it is really powerful to go now into the comment section of the expressions ed editor and say this is the spacing between the hexes. And that's really nice that you could comment. And spacing between the flats. I'm sure I kind of mangled the spelling. I just wanted to give you an idea. Okay, so next thing I want to do is the spacing in between the centers, this, the spacing in the horizontal direction. So I'm going to make a new expression and call it C. And I'm going to say that C equals A plus B. Uh, in parentheses, times uh, the cosine, C-O-S, of 30 degrees. 